What do I have against one minute to midnight? Well, the Lord gave me a name. His name was Andrew Strom. The Lord woke me, gave me a name. I Google it. His ministry since the 90s has been to cause division. He's like Joseph's brothers, jealous and envious. He speaks against, and he has no other ministry, and he has no other calling except the one Abaddon gave him. He speaks against the Holy Spirit. And Minute to Midnight had him on his channel. Minute to Midnight is a New Zealand ministry because everything starts here. It's the end of the earth. It's the end of the world. It's a Father's place. From Jerusalem, it's the Isles. In the Old Testament, the Isles, the Islands. So, whether you believe that or not, I have a prophetic word from 1984 that talks about these prophets of Jeremiah. I've read it on my channel. From the Bible College in Christchurch. Anonymous. So when you fast and pray, do you do it anonymously? No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. So take that fear of man. I didn't know I was going to say that. Min to midnight, he um, scoots over to America. And he scoots back, not hearing the Lord, and goes into quarantine. Him and his wife congratulate the nurses and security in the hotel and how they were treated and do their seven days and take their test. Did they time it? What was on the end of the cotton swab? What's the corporation? Did you do your research? I mean, they do research it. What they can put on cotton. Banana. Take the bee off. You know the Lord is watching you and eating a banana. Doesn't mean he doesn't love you. He disciplines the ones he loves. I wouldn't speak like this if I had not been there. If he came at a different time, I'd still be here. It's just timing. I have no one to thank. I'm just grateful and thankful. I've handed in my assignments. I went to a special place called the New Zealand Graduate of School of teaching education and that teaching institution you don't have an exam you just have assignments and you're finished it's finished so now i'm finding out what the tip top containers are and nobody understands and nobody follows and who would do three thousand youtube posts knowing when jesus said that no one would listen when it's all pointless, you don't do it because it's pointless to you. You probably wouldn't do anything if, it, if you knew what he had planned. So I pray that he finds me trustworthy. He's coming to get me. I don't care when. I'm just not going home without you. I have the Lord's compassion 
you haven't seen me. Because what's beautiful about me is Jesus and nothing else. 